Hello everybody, uh, it's been a very very long time coming, um, finally, this thing is pretty much finished. I didn't probably take as much footage as I wanted to, um, what I do have I'll put online in a separate video, uh, there's bits and pieces of stuff throughout this build and the things that I've been doing. Just give a quick rundown on what this engine is. It's the same head as what I had before. That um, head has no one to have done 1400 horsepower in the past, so it definitely flows. Um, that's a G42 1200 Garrett Turbo, quite a big unit. Still the same exhaust manifold, V band. Got a 1.28 exhaust housing on the rear. Still running all the EGTs. Get some additional tuning visibility over the engine. Uh, obviously the biggest change is um, you will know is the billet block. So the old block is over there. I've been using that to dummy off as I've built this uh, new engine up. But that thing is um, just yeah severely cracked as most people will know. So um, new block uh, intake manifold. This is the I double E uh, drive-by-wire setup. I've made another video on that so if you want to look more about this drive-by-wire setup which is pretty cool in itself um, check that out. This thing, most of the engine is the same as before, the alternator, belts, crankshaft, pistons, rods, dry sump, pump, injectors, coils. Basically we've just kept the engine the same, put a new intake manifold on with the drive-by-wire, new turbo, new block, everything else is the same. So. Um, this thing will be aiming to do around about 1000 horsepower. We probably won't run it at 1000 horsepower, but we'll definitely make 1000 horsepower with it. Um, and we'll definitely have it as an option if we need it, but realistically, I think 800 horsepower on the tyres I use um, is, is a sort of the sweet spot. But one thing this engine will do is um, rev a lot higher than um, you know, most RBs. We'll send it to sort of close to nine and a half, ten thousand, 10,000 um, and we'll use the drive-by-wire to close the throttles as the rev limiter just to soften the revs. Um, the con rods are running an L19 um, spool rod bolt so 1.6 head length, 7 16th in size so they are a strong rod bolt the bottom end should handle. Uh, and the cam the springs have also changed actually as well and the head to a, a Supertech double um, valve spring from the Calford um, Beehive spring. Inside the car we have the um, sequential gearbox set all set up. I'm going to do another video on, on this exact setup as well. But that's all in working right now. The accelerator pedal um, setup has also been plugged into the ECU so the drive by wire is working. So quick look under the car at that gearbox. It's some new cross wheel mounts made up. Majority of this uh, gearbox is actually pretty easy to put in. Drive shaft hanging out the back there. And cuff, new, new exhaust as well to, to suit the new turbo. So it's a four inch resin, uh, muffler on the rear just with a strap plug stainless off the turbo. I've also got a tip at the rear there we can change it just to a straight pipe as well. So there's a couple of options for exhausts. Rear of the car is very much the same as what it has been for some time. I have moved the catch can from the engine back to the back of the car. Um, just to keep all the tanks back here and keep it nice and tidy. I guess other things that have been done whilst the car is off the track is uh, some soft springs in the rear and some hard springs in the front. 16 in the front and uh, less than 3 in the rear. So interested to see how that goes. But this thing will be on the dyno uh, in a couple of weeks. Finally, so I look forward to uh, hearing it run and then also obviously look forward to taking it for a drift because um, yeah this thing's going to be a weapon, that's for sure. Okay, so let's just fire this thing up and have a listen to it. Got a muffler on at the moment. It's probably not as loud as it would normally be, but 
It's okay for being at home, so fire it up. So yeah, it all runs, good to go. So um, dyno next and take to the track, see how it performs.